This is my new Hanmatech HM310T programmable DC power supply, 30 volts at 10 amperes. It's for Canada. Top view inside packaging. This is the front view. came with a user manual, software CD-ROM, USB cable, DC test leads and of course the power cord. Back panel has a USB port for PC connectivity and the power socket. It has 5 volt 1.5 ampere USB charging ports in the front. And now 32 volts at 10 amperes, but then uh, I'll be checking the voltage so the multimeter. Let us see what it reads now when I press output. 31.9, So it only goes left side. So I cannot move right unless I go through the whole sequence again. 13.8 and then output so the multimeter is showing 13.81 now let me switch this off and then adjust the current let me set the current to say 1 ampere so I think I should go here and then again toggle toggle reduce it to I think I'll toggle once more 1 ampere, 0, 0, okay so now we have set it at 1 ampere current limit and then again I need to press output. Of course if I feed anything, uh, feed it to a load I'll know but as I mentioned I will do a complete review of the load test later. Now I am charging all the 3S in series together uh, with this uh, DC power socket and uh, plug a jack and now I have set it to 12 volts and I have limited the current to 600 milliamps so let me power on and see what is the power consumption later if needed I'll increase the current so the power is now 6 watts at 600 milliamps and the voltage has dropped to 10.36 and slowly increasing so let me just leave it on in this condition for some time and see how it goes the battery is still cool to the touch because I have limited the current to 600 milliamps and this is what we have here 11.94 volts uh, the voltage has climbed to 7.164 watts the current is still limited to uh, 600 milliamps and we it's been on for charging for 3363 seconds and counting this was just a quick review thanks for checking it out overall I think it's a good purchase uh, $100 plus tax. I, it meets the needs of my workbench here.